Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to make um, country style ribs in the Instapot. It's going to be a lot quicker. I prefer them smoked all day long in the smoker or on the grill, slow cooked. But when you're in a hurry and you forget to put things out or it's a weeknight and you just don't have the time, I go ahead and use the Instapot because it's going to cook in about 45 minutes. Now I've got six of the ribs here. These may look a little bit larger than what you're seeing because I cut these myself. Honestly, all it is is a pork shoulder that's cut into the rib size. So basically, if you see country style ribs for $3 a pound and you see a pork shoulder for $1.99 a pound, get the pork shoulder and make your own. I will put a video up on how to do that. I do have instructions on my website. But I've got six of them here and I've already coated them and they've been marinating in my dry rub. I'm sure you've already seen my dry rub. If not, I'll put a link down to it and tell you everything that I use in it. I use it on all my pork and such in the uh, smoker and sometimes as you see in the Instapot. Actually, it looks like I have seven of them in here. I thought I had six, there was a small one there. So I'm just gonna stack them in the Instapot. Make sure the bottom ones are not fat side down if you don't use a trivet because if you put it fat side down you may get a burn notice and then you're gonna have to release all the pressure move them around and restart it doesn't mean you burnt the ribs it just means that the pot has came in contact with it and it felt like it was burning so i've got the ribs in there and to that i'm going to add two cups of water and what i did is i used my veteran bouillon ham base and sauteed onion. It's about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of each. Don't overdo it because there is salt in this unless you get the sodium free. So just make sure when you do these, you don't add more salt. So I've got that in there. I'm gonna pour those over the top. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. This will help break down the fat somewhat and give that apple -y flavor like if you had smoked it with apple wood. I'm gonna put just a splash or two of Worcestershire sauce in there. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire whatever. And since I'm not using the smoker, I'll put a dash or two of liquid smoke in. Just give it a little extra flavor. And I found this Chipotle pepper sauce Tabasco. It's really good, it's not real spicy, but it's got a good, good Chipotle smoky flavor. I'm gonna try it out, I'm gonna put some in here. We'll just see how that turns out. So once you get all of that in there, and that's really all you need to put in there, unless you want to add a little pepper, remember no salt, because if you're using this, because it's already got salt in there. So just throw a little extra pepper in there. We're gonna seal this up. We're gonna cook it for 45 minutes and on a full uh, pressure cook, and then we're gonna let it slow release for 15 to 20 minutes, a natural pressure release, and then release the rest of the pressure. So let me get this all filled up here. We're gonna put it on pressure cook. Put it for 45 minutes. And you gotta kind of slow this or it'll go way over like I did. I'm a little impatient. So I didn't pass that shit. And remember, it's not gonna be 45 minutes cooking time in, or 45 minutes and it's done because here's our 45, I'm gonna start it it still has to come up to pressure. So it's gonna take five, anywhere from five to 10, 15 minutes to come up to pressure. Then it's gonna do the 45 minutes that we set on here of pressure cooking. And then when it sounds that it's done, I'll let it sit in there 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll let all the rest of the pressure out. So we'll be back in about 45 minutes to an hour and see what we got. Okay, so all the pressure's now released. It's been 15 minutes after the cooking time ended it took about 13 minutes to get up to pressure. So we have the 13 minutes, the 45 minutes, and another 15 minutes, about an hour and 13 minutes to cook the ribs all the way through. Took the lid down, get all the water off of it like that. And let's get these ribs out. They're gonna be very tender. It might be a little hard to even get them out with tongs. There we go. I mean, they're literally falling apart. <laughs> Get the easy ones first. Oh, 
as you can see, they're just so tender, they're falling apart. Now at this point, you could boil down this liquid in the bottom here, which I've done before, and make a nice sauce, barbecue sauce to go over top. Um, even put these in the oven, under the broiler, or in the air fryer, and crisp them up a little bit. But tonight I'm just gonna have them just like this. So here's our country style ribs. Pressure cooker in about an hour and 15 minutes from beginning to end and it's done. Give it a try. If you have any questions, leave them down below and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.